Hi, I'm Karen Quinn, co-founder of TestingMom.com. If your child is going to be taking the Raven's Progressive Matrices test anytime soon, you're probably a little worried. What is this test like? How will my child do? What if my child isn't good at spatial reasoning or puzzles? The Raven's test is a visual spatial reasoning test that is often used to screen children for gifted and talented entry. It takes about half an hour, it's multiple choice, and no reading is required. For each section of this test, children start out with easier questions and they keep going until they miss four or five in a row. Let's look at the types of questions children might see on a Raven's Progressive Matrices test. This is a pattern completion question that we would expect a second or third grader to be able to handle. Here, the child has to figure out which square belongs in the empty box to complete the puzzle. The answer is C. This is a serial reasoning question that a first or second grader should be able to solve. With this type of question, children are shown a series of geometric shapes that change across the row as well as down the columns to create an overall design. The child must use reasoning skills to determine what goes in the empty box to complete the matrix. The answer here is A. This is another serial reasoning question at the fourth or fifth grade level. The answer is B. There is one shape for each column, but the shape rotates to the right across the rows. These are just a few examples of the types of questions that are on the Raven's test. The questions are very simple for young children and become quite complex for older kids. If your kindergartner to sixth grader is taking the Raven's test and you'd like to learn more about the kinds of questions on this test, visit us at the web address listed. There you can immediately access our free ebook, The Testing Survival Guide Pre-K to Sixth Grade. This guide not only explains the different kinds of questions that are on the Raven's matrices and other similar tests, it gives you 40 free practice questions you can do with your child. So don't delay. Visit our webpage now to access your free guide and sample questions. I'll see you there.